up, you Divaholics? Welcome back to another video. This time we're doing a little bit of off-roading with the ATV. Check out some cherry grounds. It's supposed to be flat, so it's looking kind of promising. It brought to you by Ski Prong. Mahalo's for the hoodie. You the man. Mahalo Ski. Always providing me gear.
Oh, bro. The water feels good, Kashin. Oh. I could get used to this. Alright, it'll you know, mess it around. Oh, suit up. First drop of the day. In the shadows, I see a couple of fishies, so I'm gonna bust out the tree prong and get a couple of these maninis. Bust out the gun, put the band stretched to the first shark fin tab, and I was supposed to be going for a school of mullets going back and forth. But then I did not know there was gonna be a huge omelu popping out of nowhere. And this just breaks my heart. As we get farther into the coastline, three progging maninis, I see a huge shadow in the distance. And I'm thinking, let me get my gun real quick. And I took a drop again, and sure enough, it came within my distance, and I took my aim, and I knew it was a caller. As we are getting farther into the coastline, sticking to the shallows, a huge school of uhus came charging in at me like I was a meal or something, or in their territory or something like that. But I took a drop, and this red uhu is small, kind of curious, and then this blue one was just minding its own business, playing around with the coral. And I took a leap. couple muskies in the distance not a very good size ones though probably like two three pounds so I figure wait and see if a bigger one shows up
took another drop to see if the bigger moves in the back would come in. None of the mooskies wanted to come out and play, so I figure I'd tell the Munu and take a drop and line up on this nice size one. We found a cherry spot to get footage of each other. So, why the hell not? The outcome of it looks pretty damn cool. Shot a nice size red uhu. We figured we'd go back on the ATV and go up the coast because it was so murky and sure enough we found some clear water. <laughs> Just lining up on this nice size munu. We figure we bust out the ski prong, seen a bunch of coles and pakakuis, also known as Achilles Tang. They're also not valued as an aquarium fish, but very well known as a food source, which has led a significant decline in the west areas of Hawaii, which means you cannot spear or fish for them in the west areas of Hawaii.
first time seeing a kumu out here and ladies and gentlemen I present to you the queen of enemies all right all right let's get back into action so yeah I'm down on the bottom trying to retrieve my kumu that I tree ponged earlier This ski prong is so accurate, headshots after another. Every diver's pet peeve, <laughs> having butterfingers. This shot was brutal. This Cole's whole head came off. No worries, Gangi. I didn't waste that fish. I found him laying down on the rock, dead. So I picked him up. How's this monk seal checking me out? Playing hiding seek. So you know, gotta throw the shaka. Yes sir. Mm -hmm. Alright gangi, how many of you can spot the taco? If you got it right, you gonna kill a taco. Right? Earlier I threw a couple pieces of taco and I tried to get this moose curious enough to come closer. Eventually he does. This 100 centimeter custom single roller does what it's supposed to.
and there he goes under the rock. I hate when this happens. The scary thing about retrieving your fish is you want to make sure you're not going to get tangled with anything on you, including your belt or your cooey, your stringer, your goggles, your GoPro strap, uh, whatever you could get tangled with. You always want to make sure there's nothing holding you back. And if worst comes to shove then you want to make sure your, your dive knife is sharp enough to cut through anything I mean not rocks but anything that could get tangled with And I'm already in love with this new gun. It shoots accurate. It has the uh, extra distance. Nothing could go wrong with this 100 centimeter single roller. I didn't get the Michaels on film, but this is the only one. But let me tell you what, this is the most underrated fish for pan fry. I would say it's better than a cole, but uh, one of these days I'll do a catch and cook. So yeah, I took a drop. See this nice size blue hoo coming in. And I know for sure when I shot him and I see the trail blood, I have to follow it. The common mistake divers tend to do is they like to blast fish <laughs> into the rocks. But uh, you always want to make sure you put your band onto the first shark fin tab and secure your fish. I think they they piece that Oh, you dummy! Why? Huh. Oh, you see those big uhus that just came right up? Oh no! Bruh! Fat reds and fat blues. I'm, I'm a three prong one. Oh, I'm stuck if I drop this GoPro in. Yeah, what you guys think? Ready? No? A little bit more crispy, huh? Yes, sir.
Sit. Sit down. Sit. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, rubbish. Ah, uh, rubber. Where's the uh, rubber? You fluffy. He tried. Yeah. There we go. Good girl. <laughs>